Um, hello guys, um, today I'm going to do a tutorial on um, how to record Call of Duty 4 gameplay in a high quality. You can do nice slow motions with it and uh, stuff. So to begin uh, you need some programs to record with and to edit. So I recommend uh, Sony Vegas, it's the best program for Call of Duty 4 editing, but uh, and you can use even After Effects, but uh, you must use uh, in later times. You you will use After Effects because uh, of the abilities it has. So you, Google is your friend. You can find Sony Vegas, and uh, on the other side you you need uh, Fraps. That is I'm. Um, recording program for uh, uh, mainly recording games but you can record other things too you can record screenshots and stuff so to begin uh, with you will need f f when you download fraps you will need those settings this so this is the settings you will use lock frame it while recording yes and everything uh, like it shows here um, this uh, it doesn't matter you can uh, change your folder to save movies and uh, video capture hotkey but you don't need to change anything else so you will need the uh, code for player to open code for demos uh, to find that you can go just uh, just type cyberpath code for and click on the first link and download it um, so the links will be on the in the description, so you don't need to worry. Um, when you when you downloaded the, the player, just go to setup, go to mod name, set it to mod warfare. Uh, this you don't need to change, but uh, change speed slow ultra to 0 0.0625. That's it, 0.0625 and uh, press association of dm1 this extension press save so now go um, go to your code 4 <coughs> um, you will need a uh, cfg for uh, just a second so, uh, you will need a CFG, movie CFG, to record. Uh, that will be in the description too, and the color correction for Sony Vegas. Um, you download the CFG and put it in your uh, main folder. It will be called Ivy. So just download it and put it in your Code Warfare main folder. And you will get a color correction with it, so uh, keep that in mind. That will be used for the magic bullet looks, and I will post some screenshots uh, for uh, color correction uh, in the Vegas. So, when you when you download all the things you need, you you need to open your demo. So I will do this demo, for example, today. It will load uh, shipment uh, free for all in dev map, so so it will preload two maps, so you will ha have ability to use uh, commands that uh, are uh, that require dev map. So you you can use the cheat commands in uh, in the demo. So, as the demo is playing, you type in your upper console, open it with uh, the button next to uh, button 1 on the keyboard, number 1, uh, that's the console key, so when you open it, you type exec ivy.cfg, so you have the cfg now, Okay, uh, 
Um, now you need to just uh, skip to the part when you get your kill. That's here somewhere. Every round you must exec CFG at. Uh, uh, you must re exec the CFG every round because uh, the ch rounds change just fucks up the whole CFG. So now when you when you are at the position for the kill, press uh, number two on the numpad like this, and it will make the uber slow mo. And uh, now you just press the key for recording for fraps and it uh, automatically records the frag so you you just wait uh, and then you can skip you can exit the code after you recorded your frag so that's it you recorded your frag let's say and uh, now you need to locate your frag and yeah you need uh, two more programs you need the uh, virtual dub and the migui um, just the link will be in the description you download virtual dub uh, uh, exec it somewhere and just run the program now uh, as you run it uh, you f find your movie just drag it into the virtual dub go to audio no audio video frame rate change frame rate to and uh, type 480 fps type ok and you can use compression but uh, i don't uh, use it because it just drags out some loads of quality and uh, but it can make the file size of the dub file a lot smaller so you can use it if you have a uh, smaller hard drive or if you don't have enough space but I don't recommend it so you have the frag here and then you go to file save as and you just save it somewhere where you want to then uh, you can run Vegas right click and video event pen crop and then choose 16.9 widescreen TV aspect ratio and then if you can see it will make all the things sexier and nicer <coughs> but wait I failed here yes this is ok that's it for this and you need uh, just to apply the color correction you will have uh, color correction and everything in the description in the screenshots for the magic bullet and uh, for the uh, color curves it will look something like um, this wait You look something like this you can play around with it so you make it better even like uh, you can uh, go to CFG factory and download uh, any other CFG but it's best to make your own CFG and your own uh, colors it's always secret like that so once you edited your clip or whatever whatever you want 
um, just go to file save and save it uh, anywhere I don't mind. again go to file and then render as so now you need to render it as video for Windows go to custom template and copy those settings I will screenshot them so you won't need to so you don't need to copy them from this video um, okay once you done that save this as uh, whatever you want name template save it and then just render some things first off you must update but yes you must update your MIGUI and then go to config and uh, make your config just like this copy those settings that are here Just update and that's it. Once you've done that, um, you will need to go to your renders file that you rendered in Sony Vegas. Yeah, that's it. And then go to tools, AVS script creator, video input. And then just select the file you just read. Yes. Uh, show direct uh, direct file source. Now we have a quick preview of the video. Uh, click clever team anamorphic anamorphic encoding. And then save. Then again just click exit. And uh, now you have this. So you need the QI this click that okay go to qui tab then just you see the those guys here workers okay but first first it's the you need to create a worker create a new worker once you created just go to workers worker one okay and then you can add the job to that worker so then just start and uh, it will take some time depending on the size and the length of the file <coughs> that's it that's the, that's the that's all the job you need to do okay okay uh, just remember to rate comment subscribe and like the video and thanks for watching I, I hope it helped thanks bye